This video shows you what you need to do to get started using KDP Wizard. Visit our website at kdpwizard.app where you will find everything you need to get started and a whole range of information and resources for moving further along your KDP journey. The first step to get set up is to install the KDP Wizard Chrome browser extension. In the right hand menu, click Add the extension and Add to Chrome. On the pop-up, click Add Extension and once it's installed, you get a new icon in your extensions toolbar and a welcome message. Just click away from the message or close with the X in the top right hand corner. Next, you need to choose a tier from the pricing page at kdpwizard.app forward slash pricing. Alternatively, hit the grab a license key button from the pop-up app. Choose the best tier for your current needs and pick the payment frequency that you'd like and click to continue. The free tier only requires some basic details and for a paid plan you'll need to enter some personal details and payment info. Once you've completed your order you'll be presented with a welcome screen. Click the activate my API license key button to go to your API keys page. Here you have a button to click to automatically send your license key to KDP Wizard so you don't have to enter it manually. In the quick setup guide in the pop-up app, click the button to create a new free Airtable account or you can sign in from here if you already have one. Once logged in, you may need to generate an API key if your account was created after February 12, 2019. Click on the profile image circle, account and generate API key. If you see a row of dots here, that means you've generated your API key so you're good to go. From the app, you need to click Take Me to the Starter Base to get a copy of the included base template for use with KDP Wizard. You could also access this from our website in the right hand menu. In the top right hand corner, click Copy Base and choose a workspace in Airtable to add it to. You can simply choose the default workspace for new accounts. Find the KDP Wizard Starter Base in your Airtable account, and if you wish to give it another name, it's best to do that now as this name will be passed to KDP Wizard and isn't updated if you change it after it's been added. Click the small down arrow that appears when you hover over the base icon and type in another name of your choice. You can also change the colour and icon for it here too. While we're here, be aware that the duplicate base option creates an exact copy of your base and all the data contained within it. We advise to do this at least once a week and you can create a new workspace called Backups to store them in. Click to open the starter base and add it to KDP Wizard by clicking Help in the top right. Then click API Documentation. A new tab will open and a small KDP Wizard button will appear in the page header, just right of center. Click this to add base to KDP Wizard. Confirm it added successfully by looking for the confirmation text Base added to KDP Wizard. If the button is disabled, that means the base is already connected to KDP Wizard. Now you're set up and ready to start using KDP Wizard in your bookshelf and beyond. Be sure to watch all of our tutorial videos which are quick and concise to make sure you know everything you need to get the most out of your KDP Wizard experience. You can access these from our website or the bookshelf dashboard videos tab.